Yes, it is. I have failed this city. Hello. This is my first tutorial. Please tell me if you want to see more in the future. First, you're going to want to get your clips and an audio. You can find clips off YouTube that you can screen record or an Instagram scene pack to download. Make sure you copy my comp settings. Once you have got your footage and audio, you need to add them to the timeline. First, you need to find your intro and cut it by pressing Ctrl Alt D. Then put the end of the clip when the beat drops. You can do this by pressing L twice and looking for a spike in the waveform. Once you have done that, right click on the audio and find Keyframe Assistant. Then convert audio to keyframes. You will have a layer called Audio Amplitude. You are going to want to left-click on both channels and slider, then press on the graph like I did. Where the audio spikes place a keyframe and do that for all the other spikes. Then you can click off and delete the audio amplitude now you have your keyframes. In the intro, if the camera changes to a different angle, then you are going to want to split it. Once you have done that, you need to center the clips by moving the position. Now you need to find your clips for the main part of the edit. Double click on the layer, and once you have found your clip, press this button and that frame will be the start of the clip. Then go to the next keyframe and split the layer. You are then going to double click on the long layer. Repeat until you get to your last keyframe. You are going to want to center the clips like we did for the intro. After you have centered the layers, you need to select all of them and do what I am doing now. Next, Select the text icon at the top of the screen and click on the viewport, and then change the text to what the character says, then time it so the text pops up while they are talking. Now just copy me. You can change the color of the text by either going to the Character panel and clicking on the Fill color, or just do the same thing on the Properties panel. In the Effects, panel type in Slow, then drag Slow Fade On onto the text layer. Press U to see the keyframes and drag the first, keyframe 2, when they start talking, and the last to when they stop. Then apply Fade Out Slow and put that at the end of the clip. Do that for all the other text layers, at the end of the last text layer, type explosion on the text panel and put it on the last layer. Then do the keyframes like I did. After that, you should move all the text layers to the top of the timeline, like I did. Then pre-compose the text layers. Next, pre-compose all of your other layers like I have. If you want, you can add a white solid and change the opacity from 100 to 0 like I have here. Once you have done that, apply a Twix store onto the layer. Copy my settings and make sure the input keyframes are the same as your clip. You can see here. Now, copy what I am doing. Copy and paste the Twix store to all your other clips. Make sure you select the Twix store in the effects panel before copying it. Press Ctrl-Alt-Y to get an adjustment layer and put it above your clip. Next type in Blurmo Curves and put it on your adjustment layer and copy what I am doing.
Now easy ease the keyframes and copy my graph. Now, copy and paste the adjustment layer onto all your other layers, if the layer doesn't match the length of your clip. Make it the same length and press U. Select both the keyframes and while holding down Alt, move the keyframe to match the length of the layer. Now add two more adjustment layers On the top one, add a flicker and copy my settings. On the second layer, add a color correction. You can find tutorials on color correction on YouTube. Once you have done that, pre-compose everything together and add it to the render queue. Now, you are done. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I hope you like the video.